a little boy, two little guys were out playing on some ice that was supposed to have been solid. And one of the little boys stepped on a thin area of the ice and fell in a hole. And as he began to start thrashing in the water, he began to move with the undercurrent to other areas of the ice and his friend was there trying to help him beat and hitting the ice, trying to save his friend. And he panicked and he, he looked just a short distance away and there was a tree and he went and he ripped a branch off and he came back trying to get his buddy out and he just took the best he could to start scraping around the ice to make a circle and when he did he started beating on it and beating on it and there all of a sudden the ice began to crumble and he was able to pull his friend out to safety when the paramedics finally got there they saw what had happened how thick the ice was he saved the little boy's life but what baffled him they looked at the branch and they looked at this little scrawny guy and said, how did he do this? It's impossible. They just went beating around the ice to see how thick it was, hearing the thumping sound. Said, how did he do that? I mean, it was a miracle that he was able to just take that branch and go around, make a circle and beat the ice and pull him through. It's just too small. It's just impossible. And an old man standing around, hearing the conversation, stepped forward and said, I can tell you how he did it. He didn't have anybody here to tell him he couldn't do it. See, sometimes life will happen to you, like this little boy, and you won't have time to say no. You won't have time to think that you can't do it. The only time you will have is to act, to take the leap of faith and believe that everything is going to be all right. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything's going to be all right. But aren't there some guarantees you can give us less? Yes. What is that? You're going to die. Excuse me? You're going to die. In case you didn't understand that, you can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you've got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. See, if we decide that we don't need a pronouncement from some physician to say, we have six months to a year to live in order to really begin to appreciate the beauty of life. In order to really to make some hard decisions in life. See, we have the power in our hands. Like those little boys, we have that kind of power, that kind of genius, that kind of fortune, that kind of wealth, that kind of happiness, that kind of sense of fulfillment in our hands. We have that. We have that. It's in our hands. It's on us. And nobody can make that decision for us. We can give it away. We can give it to the company store for $400 or $500 a week. Or we can exchange it for how people think about us, how they feel about us, and go through life and resign ourselves to be miserable as we go to our graves, looking good for everybody else, except to ourselves. Or we can decide, hey, wait. This is the only life that I have. And that is my volcano. And I'm going to take the leap of faith. I'm going to jump in it. And I'm going to handle it because I know the universe will never give me anything I don't have a capacity to handle. See, I say to you that you've got the power within you to handle any kind of volcano in your life. Regardless of how it shows up, regardless of any kind of challenge that you might have in your life, I say to you, you've got that in you right now. Where will it come from? Don't worry. If you trust yourself, it will come to you at the right time in which you need it. If you believe and don't doubt if everything in you, there's something about life, I believe, that when a person resolves within themselves, that this 
is how I give my life. This is how I'm forwarding myself in the universe. Dr. Johnny Youngblood out of New York, he said, I must live what's in me. This is why I've got to do this, Les. I must live what's in me. And all of us have something in us that we must live. And if we don't know what it is right now, we must create it or we must find it. All of us have this, whatever this, this something is that gives our life that meaning, that value, that power, and that happiness. That happiness that a lot of people just wouldn't understand why you've got to do it and why you've got to take that mountain off.